What's up, everybody? Hope all of y'all are doing undeniably fan freaking fantastic out there. It's Monday, and you know what that means. It's vlog day once again. And I hope all you had a good week. One thing I'm wondering about last week, though, is why did my vlog get to 170 views? Like, th that, that kind of blew my mind. I guess I can blame it on the thumbnail. Just me and Queen Enterprises being um, all playful to each other, looking at each other like... We, we, we do that quite often. We just, like, look at each other all grumpified just to make each other laugh. Like, mm -hmm. But yeah, I guess I can blame it on the thumbnail, which um, I guess now's a good time to make a confession about it. Um, when it, I, I used to keep these vlogs as 100% raw as possible. I still do, okay? At least as far as the filming process goes. But like when it came to the uploading process, I'll admit, I used to just uh, pick from the selection of YouTube-generated thumbnails. But there is the occasion where I would just take a screenshot from the video and say, boom, that's the thumbnail. So just to give you an example, that's the thumbnail right there. I just posed for it. I just screenshot it. Alright. So... Yeah, yeah, well, um, other than that, um, this past week has been pretty decent for me. Kick up the line. I was just about to upload three, rea three reaction videos as advertised, but like right before I went to go upload them, that's when I noticed the trailer for Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. Alright, so I had to stop out the press and said, let me do one more reaction and I'll upload it just a day late. Alright. So this past Thursday I uploaded four reaction videos. One for Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. Two Dora Glee's Too Many Spider-Man video. Three a Ginger Billy music video. And four was what was it? Oh yeah, Good Worker 2 trailer. Yep. So I was able to get those reactions knocked out. Um and I do have content ready to go for this week, finally. And just looking at the uh, schedule of events for the rest of the year. With the exception of Christmas week. With the exception of Christmas week. I've got three weeks of regular, regular scheduled SSP programming. Mm -hmm. So, we're getting down to the nitty gritty and 2023 is running out. And... Come next week, there's something I really need to talk about as far as how this year has gone for me. Because it stings, but I feel like it has to be a necessary sting, maybe. Maybe. Look at me trying to rationalize my own failures, but I'm, I'm, not, I'm not about to get into that right now. I'm not. Um, but, yeah, y'all. Um, y'all should be able to see Queen Enterprises again on the 20th, Monday the 20th. That's the last Monday before Thanksgiving because the plan is this coming Saturday I'm booked for the main event of CMW Evolution's Destination Glory 3 and I'm going to be in the main event against the Alpha Tony Lincoln who's defending his CMW Evolution Championship. He's, got, he's the main champion in the main event on the biggest show of the year and I'm going to be headlining it with him. Alright, so Looking forward to that. But Queen Enterprise, she will be in attendance for that show. She's planning to be. And the idea is that they... Um, the idea is that she comes back with me and spends Thanksgiving at my house again like she did last year. Alright? And then she's going to be going back home Saturday the 25th. That's the uh, plan. Alright? But, um, other than that, folks... Um, Let's see here, what else we're gonna talk about? Oh yeah. Loki season two. Alright. So to all my Marvel fans out there watching, what did I think about Loki season two? This is gonna be a spoiler free review, so next week I'll talk more in depth about what I thought about Loki season two. Alright. 
Compared to Loki season one, compared to Loki season one, I figured that like um, there was a little bit less action maybe. I know there's a heck of a lot more effects used, but like there was like, if compared to season one, I think season two felt a little bit more um, what's the word I'm looking for? Tension based, like the. There was some humor involved, but like, it, it, it pretty much felt like that there was like a lot of danger going on. Like there was always in constant danger, okay? Which wasn't a bad thing, all right? It, it's like they was able to utilize their cliffhangers very well. But when it comes to the progression of the MCU, I definitely feel like that Loki did a good job at, of... Loki Season 2 did a good job of standing alone on its own, alright? Meaning that even though Loki was branched from the 2012 Avengers, which that's a whole other topic I can talk about next week, um, Loki Season 2 did a good job of just being its own standalone story, like not directly connected to anything outside of the TVA, alright? But everything that you would get used to at the end, it changed drastically. Alright? So, come next week, I will have a spoiler review for Loki. Alright? However, um, I'm filming this on a Sunday, so after play practice tonight, I'm actually going to be going to... I'm actually going to go see the Marvels, which I hear bad things about. But... I'm hearing a lot of bad things about the MCU, and honestly, not everything has been as bad as the internet says it was. Alright. I guess I can relate, right? But I digress. Um, so, yeah, y'all. Um, I'm going to watch the Marvels tonight, and I might have a spoiler-free review of that for the last Monday of November. Alright? The last Monday before December. Alright. So. Yeah folks. Um, thank you all for tuning in to this episode of the vlog. And. Until next time. Make sure all of you remember. To be. Outrageously optimistic year round. Booyah. I'm out. Love you all. And here comes my hug of appreciation. Bye.